Hey guys, we talked last week and you saw a con video um, about even and odd numbers. And just as a review, we know that even numbers have a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight in the ones place. Those would all be even numbers. And odd numbers then have a one, a three, a five, a seven, and a nine in the ones place. Those would be odd numbers. Now these numbers do some interesting things when we add them and multiply them. They follow certain patterns. So if we take an even number and we add another even number to it, it's always going to give us either an even number or an odd number as our answer. The best way I think to do this is to put some numbers in to substitute for these words even. So if I look at my even numbers, I could choose a two, a four, a six, an eight. I could choose 12 because that has a two in the ones place. I could choose 56 because it has a six in the ones place. But for something like this, I wanna keep it easy. So I'm gonna choose a two to represent my even number. And I can do that twice. I'm gonna add another two. And when I have two plus two, my answer is four. Well, four is an even number. So by this example, an even number plus an even number should equal an even number. Let's try another example. This time, let's use a four, which is an even number, and let's say a six, which is another even number. Four plus six equals 10. 10 has a zero in the ones place. It's also an even number. The pattern here for an even number plus another even number is the sum will always be an even number. So even plus even equals even. Let's try this again. This time we're gonna put odd plus odd. I'm gonna scoot my paper up. So I'm gonna take an odd number and I'm gonna add it to another odd number. And let's see what we get when we add those two, what the sum would be. Well, odd numbers have a one, a three, a five, a seven, or a nine in the ones place. I'm gonna make it really easy, and this time I'm gonna say one plus one. One is odd, one is odd. When I add it together, I get two. Two is an even number. Hmm, it's a little bit different. Let's try another example, another odd number, three plus five, both of those are odd. When I add them together, I get eight, which is an even number. So in this case, the pattern, if you add an odd number plus an odd number, the sum of those two numbers is always even. All right, well, what if I take an odd number and I add an even number to it? Let's try that last part. If I start with an odd number, and this time I add an even number, what is my result gonna be? Well, odd numbers, I like to keep it simple. Let's start with a one. And an example of an even number would be a two. And when I add those two together, I get three. Three is an odd number. All right, well, one example does not mean it's a pattern. Let's try another example. Another odd number, let's try a three. And this time let's try a four, because that's an even number. When I add them together, three plus four equals seven. The sum of this odd number and even number is also an odd number. Here's my pattern. So when I have an odd number and I add an even number to it, my sum is always going to be odd.